Atlanta mother now bravely turning her own grief into strength to save other parents from suffering. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Bussey has the story. Dr. Rhonda Milner lost her son Whitner in 2011. Grief is sort of strange. Your life goes on, but you still get those moments of these deep, like waves that come out of nowhere. And all those feelings and emotions come back up again. At 25, he died due to hypoxic blackout or shallow water blackout. It happened in the Atlanta pool while Rhonda was out of town. And devastatingly, she found him. And he was laying flat, but it looked like he had propped himself up under the stairs to try to stay underwater to hold his breath. Hypoxic blackout happens when someone passes out while underwater and drowns. It can happen in shallow water. It can happen to strong swimmers and beginners. It is silent. The tragedy knows no age. The kids grow up playing games and thinks it's fun, and which I did as a child too, never knowing that this was something that was dangerous. Rhonda believes Whitner died while practicing for a spearfishing trip. It is 100% preventable. Um, our son did not need to die. I mean, he just did not know. Rhonda felt part of her purpose was to start the underwater hypoxic blackout prevention. Families from all over the country reach out and tell their stories. The nonprofit listens and tracks them all. Most families who reach out to the nonprofit have never heard of underwater blackout until they lost someone they love. The organization also does prevention education in the community, partnering with some YMCAs to add signage to pools, warning of the dangers of breath holding games. We just did not want another family to suffer a loss like we had from something that's, again, 100% preventable. In Atlanta, Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.